Hello and welcome to Hitman 2016, developed by uh, IO Interactive, available on Steam. It's, uh, well, if you didn't know, it's a stealth action game with sandbox elements where you play as Agent 47, as pictured here, uh, assassinating a bunch of targets, you know, within the map. And, you know, it's fun because you, know, you can approach it in many different ways. It's mainly play as a stealth game, but you can, for example, just start blasting everyone from right from the beginning. It's fun. It's, it's a fun game to play. You know, I played uh, Hitman Blood Money before as well. Another game in the uh, Hitman series. And, you know, it's in the similar vein. You know, you start off in a big map with a bunch of people and you can just kind of do whatever you want. You know, as long as you finish the mission. Though sometimes you can just choose not to finish the mission at all. But, uh, you know... It's it's a fun game to play. I I bought the um, the 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 this uh, the bundle you know for the first Hitman uh, at a discount. So that's why I'm playing it. Basically, technically I'm playing it in Hitman Two because apparently I don't know it's weird, but like basically, um, you can play the classic maps in the Hitman Two engine. Even though I technically don't own Hitman Two, uh, but you can do that apparently. You know, people say at least from what I've read that it's better to do so because there's a bunch of like you know quality of life updates to the game engine so it's better to play the classic maps in uh, the second game kind of like playing uh, left 4 dead 1 and left 4 dead 2 you know you know that anyway I, I was thinking whether or not i would play like i'm basically just gonna play the story basically and i don't know so uh, i was thinking of starting here you know on the first map over here because this is the most interesting part this is when it gets interesting because it's an actual big map but i guess i'll start in the prologue you know you get, you get, I think you can play these uh, for free actually. This is kind of like a demo as well. But it's kind of also kind of like an introduction and tutorial. But let's see. Let's, let's just start. Play. Not much, you know, not much customization, but later on it's gonna be more interesting. I play like a few hours. And you know, what I've seen so far is, you know, pretty cool. But let's watch this cutscene first. Actually, we need to walk around for a bit. You know, I, I'm, I have to say first, uh, the way this game was sold, basically, was really weird at the time it was released, you know? I mean, if, if you didn't know, this game, when it came out, only had, like, I believe, a few maps. Like, the tutorial and probably the first map, I think. And then it released the other maps as kind of like DLC, you know? Bit by bit, it had like a staggered release date, basically. Uh, where you just paid for the unfinished game, and then eventually you got the full game. You know? So, when you when you went at the time, there wasn't a lot of content when it first came out. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. But now that's, you know, it's a full game and everything. It's, you know, it looks interesting, so I'm gonna try it out. Again, I played Hitman Blood Money, and so... I, I know my way around this entire game. Mostly. Though well, it's been years, and I'm not- I don't know if I'm the best at stealth games, however. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Hardly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like? Taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Alright. So when we start in the prologue, it's basically... Oh, actually there's more. Are I was you gonna... sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? 
Apathetic and unresponsive. No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. All right, can I talk now? <laughs> I don't want, you know, usually I don't want to interrupt cutscenes. I'm not too, you know, I'm not too invested in the story of Hitman necessarily. I'm more... To advanced mission training. I'm more like... The originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter. Infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. Good luck, Initiate. Okay, <laughs> I keep getting interrupted. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, I don't remember now. I've lost my train of thought already. Tests have established. You exist I, I was gonna say, like, you know, Use your this is just like an introduction to the, you know, the you. Hitman series, I guess. Because they have the weird thing, you know, because this game is called just Hitman in all caps, you know, trademark for some reason. They're doing the weird, like, movie thing where they just reboot it. So just, they just assume nobody knows what Hitman is, even though I do know, but, you know, they're basically just reintroducing the character and everything. This is how, like, you know, this guy gets recruited into this program which allows him to do assassin contracts in the first place and everything is the idea so we just start off in this like weird simulation apparently this you know this is all fake and everything you can kill people though you can like like take a gun and shoot people and then they die i don't know how they do that i guess rubber bullets i don't know but uh but yeah this for now though this is just a tutorial this is why i'm i don't know it's a little emergent breaking though because I want to play as an assassin, yeah? That, well, that's what I was saying, actually, before I got interrupted. I'm not really invested in the story too much. I'm mostly more into the aspect of immersing myself into, you know, a role of an assassin or whatever. That's all, you know, that's a classic little thing, right? That people, I imagine, like to imagine themselves, especially in, like, role-playing games. Like, tabletop role-playing games. You, you always play as, like, a, a thief or a rogue or whatever. You know, you're gonna assassinate the, the bad guy or whatever, right? I feel like that's a common... You heard him. You can't be here. I can't be here. It's a common, like, uh... Setup, you know? But I feel like... A lot of stealth games don't do it as good, I feel like, as Hitman. You know, at least in Blood Money, at the time, it was really good, right? You would just go around in different parts of the world, and... You would, like, start off in a map, whatever. And you would, like, uh... Just figure out how to you know, kill the target in whichever way you can. And, you know, this game ca kind of captures that kind of feeling. As suspected, security won't for now, it's a little hand-holdy, basically. And look for another way in. This is basically just a tutorial just to show the main mechanics. So, you know, there's instinct. You can see a bunch of people. You basically have wall hacks. You can't just go up, obviously, because they are like, you know, I guess you would call them social mechanics. Just like in real life, you can't just like walk into a yacht, you know, by yourself. You need to do something about that though. So let's see, you can sneak around and then you can subdue someone. This is always a thing in like a lot of self games. You can just make someone unconscious by choking them out. Even though in real life, that'll be, that'll be quite harmful to the other person for one. It can kill them, you know? People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, initiate. And sometimes when, you know, when you choke someone out, they might not be unconscious right. for a long enough time. Okay, they could just, you? like, pass out for, like, five seconds and then they wake up again. But that's not how it works in this game, though, obviously, in stealth games in particular. They'll just stay unconscious. They'll just stay unconscious in there. And of course, the main mechanic of a lot of the Hitman series is the disguise mechanic, by the way, let's just explain. You disguise yourself to in order to infiltrate a lot of places. Let me save the game. Also have old save files. Uh, ignore them. Again, I played the game for a little bit just to 
you know, just to see if, if it's like a good game to actually, you know, stream and record. I still don't know if it is, but at least for me anyway. But we'll see. And that's, that's the problem with these kind of games, you know, especially when, uh, especially when there's no like, uh, you know, no rush, you know? I mean, I guess there is like a time thing where you can like, if you do the map fast enough, you'll get a better score or whatever. But for me, you know, I always just end up taking a million years, you know, to actually finish the map. But anyway, here's the forces, by the way. So even with disguise, this is different from, uh, at least from Blood Money. He knows his crew and where your disguise. So some people can still figure out who you are even in your if you're disguised start by locating your target Intel suggests he's around the bar area I know in the earlier games well done initiate it was way more uh, punishing actually you would have to actually play the part you know you couldn't run for example you couldn't do this Hi yeah you know you can't just run around in circles in the early hitman games or you know be a weirdo like this. You know, you, you can't do this, otherwise you get your disguise get blown. But you can do that in this game though, you can just be a weirdo and it works. It's, it's more forgiving in that sense. However, to balance that I guess, sometimes people will still know who you are, even in disguise. Anyway. Locate the target, he's over there, he's red. So... I'll just do the tutorial normally. Oh, the repairman. A repairman, nice. Hello. Officer. Good. That is your target, Mr. Ritter. Fortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. The uh, PC controllers, by the way, is pretty good. Which is, it kind of reminds me of Hitman Blood Money. In just so many ways, just, you know, reminds me of Hitman Blood Money. But I've always noticed that uh, hmm. the controls or Blood Money is actually way better than how it is in a lot of, you know, games that get ported on PC. This is a very small detail, but like, in a lot of games, when you use your arrow keys, or whatever, or WASD, when you go left and right, you would, the body would just go directly left and right, you know, without any kind of animation. But in this game, you can see like there's a smoother tra transition, you know? You can see that Agent 47 actually turns his body when you go in different directions. Just a small thing. And it's also a thing in Blood Money. But I've noticed in other games that have like PC controls and usually is a PC port. Like it looks weird, you know, when you do that. It just, it just, your character just goes directly. It just like snaps left or right and it looks really weird. I've noticed that in this game, not so much. It's actually very smooth. Anyway, so we can't go up there, by the way, as I mentioned before, because we're in the wrong disguise. Repairmen are not allowed on the upper deck. So instead, well, he already, he, this guy already has a injury, you can tell. But we're gonna make it worse. By the way, this is a simulation. Hey, um, you know, I have a mint. You might uh, want a couple of them. Okay, okay. Bye. Not. <laughs> Smack him. Well, that's the thing you do in this game as well. You throw things at people. I think that's new. I don't think you can do that in the other games. Maybe Absolution? I never even played Absolution. Because, you know, Hitman Absolution, at least at the time, was infamously known for much being much more linear compared to all the other Hitman games, so Unlike I kind of just mechanics. skipped that, you know? But I don't know if you could do that in, in the Absolution. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. Anyway, pick up that wrench. That wrench is, is useful, by the way. Uh, I must say, again, the controls are really good. There's only one exception, though, is that the... Um, in order to activate your inventory, you have to press I, you know, which is crazy. You, you imagine your hand on the keyboard on WASD and your hand on the mouse on the right. You have to like move either hand to press I, which is bad because you have to like, you know, pick up your hand, move it somewhere else. At least for me, that that's just not very comfortable. That's the one thing I changed. I changed it. I changed, I changed it basically to one, you know. So now you can, I can just press one to see my inventory. Anyway, so now we can go up here. Hello there. Hello there. So again, this is just a very guided tutorial. Uh, we get more freedom later on. In fact, we could do this map again if we wanted to, and just uh, do it a different way. But for now, let's just do, you know, just to show the actual game itself and how the mechanics work. 
to eavesdrop on his conversation. Try and find a way to blend in. So we can blend in, by the way. So normally he would see us if we just, you know, stood around. But we can go blend here. I, I don't find many uses for this, though. I don't know. Uh, from what I've seen, anyway. I, oh, and o only in the tutorial this, this is useful. Um, otherwise, you just, you know, you just kind of stand still. That's the thing, right? I mean, I guess you can eavesdrop on people, but otherwise... When you're blending in, you're kind of just stuck there. So, I per personally, my style is just to stalk people. But anyway. Oh, no, thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, this is all test, by the way. It's just a simulation. Don't worry about it. With the gentleman in white, this could be useful. Hey, sailor boy. Hey, sailor boy. <laughs> yeah, the way I play this game, by the way, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I actually don't know how long each map will be. You can play it many different ways. I'll probably only play maybe in two ways, maybe. But I guess it depends on the map. You could like, you could do a lot of things. There's like challenges, by the way. I think the game will, will tell you later. But like, there's a bunch of challenges you can do. So many different things you can do in the map and everything. You could spend a long time in a single map, even in this map as well. Most of my clients are. That's the, that's the fun of Hitman, right? Because I really like that because it really feels like you're kind of infiltrating like something that's already happening, right? And just you're basically just crashing the party. I don't know. It's pretty fun. Wait for it. Uh, hello, Kismlar. Kismlar? Finish him? Well, either way, I gotta wait for my the best opportunity. I mean, I guess I could kill him now, but that wouldn't be very professional. Anyway. It's interesting because apparently the, all of these are actors. That, that's the that's the idea, by the way. These everyone is an actor. They're just pretending because this guy apparently is based on a, an assassination, maybe that was available early on. Just a moment, or earlier, you know, before Agent Forty Seven was an assassin. Apparently, you know, he's like there's like the whole backstory about how like he's a a thief, he stole something, and this guy wants a password. He's selling the password or something, not password, but you know, in information, I guess, or something like that. Anyway, you shoot him. That's not very really Hitman, though. You know. That's, that's weird. Why would I want to shoot him? You can shoot him. But uh, let's try this one, actually. Let's try over here. I'd rather do this. This is this is more classic. This is classic Hitman style. Obviously, you garrote someone. How do you say? Garrote? 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 Garrote. Obviously, you do that. Anyway. Uh, this is all acting, by the way. Totally not kill him. With, you know, don't worry about it. Mr. Ritter? Hmm. He disappeared. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Professionals have standards. <laughs> Hello, Super Greg. Yeah, they're just really good actors. I don't know. They're just really good actors. I'll show you later. Once I finish this mission, uh, I'll show you how great the actors they are. <laughs> but... I don't have access to weapons yet, but you can do this mission again and they'll give you more stuff. Anyway, for now, we'll just finish the tutorial. But it's just, a, you know, it's just like they show you how to do everything. Advanced mission training. Which, to be honest, is not really the, you know, it's not the best part of Hitman. The best part of Hitman is just being able to do anything you want, right? I look anyway. forward to the final test. Do, 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 do. Man, it's nice playing full screen, by the way. Cause now I have like a little small monitor on the right. How now I can like I told you just play full times. screen without worrying about it. Stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can only be the result of previous training. Power like that with no moral restraint. It could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. 
I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Okay. Uh, Kismar. Hitman's a great way with lots of opportunities. You can spend hours searching for different ways of killing the targets, and you like the music too. As an ICA yeah. agent, every challenge I agree. you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. So yeah, they allow you to play the map again. I, I remember playing this actually when uh, when the game came out. There was like a demo, basically, and it allowed you to do this. So I played this a whole lot. <laughs> As you can see, I did all the challenges. Uh, I don't know if I'll show everything. Probably not, because, you know, the way I... I mean, I don't know if I'll put it on YouTube, but if I do put it on YouTube, I don't want to spend like a million hours in one app map. So I might, that might happen anyway, but I don't know. I, whenever I play these games, especially, I remember in Blood Money, I just went around just looking at people. <laughs> you know, just be a weird creep and just stare. Um, anyway, you can also have guns. Uh, well, let's see. L let me just show you one other way of doing this. Just, just because. Let's see. You have illegal items, by the way. If you obviously, if you hold them, they're they're gonna murder you. If you just hold it out in public. And let's see. I've noticed. I've I I you know most you could do like I uh, mean uh, just to give an overview. You could like you know you can bomb that that little thing. You can make it fall down. You can use a crowbar and explosives and fall down on the target over there when he's over there. Uh, you can also just bomb them. You know, you can also uh, poison him as well. You can poison his wine glass. He goes to the washroom. You drown him in the toilet. There's a lot of different ways. You can also just shoot everyone. Yeah, but anyway. There's also... I found, like, this one the hardest to do. Because this guy, he stays here now, you know. Before he went up and go, you know, meet up with um, Target and everything. But now you can actually take his disguise. He seemed like the hardest to do until I figured out how to use the coin. You know, this, this took me the longest to figure out. But basically, what you're supposed to do... Hopefully I do it right, but you know, you can throw the coin like so. He checks it out. And by the way, you can like grab it. Like, you know, you grab it and then he checks it out. I was like, oh, where is it? And then you can do something like this, hopefully. Hopefully you can hear it, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, he can hear that. He heard that. Pick up the coin, <laughs> you know, this is just keep distracting him like this. Go make him go on the wild goose chase. Which is silly. Weird. Weird, right? Yeah, weird. Mm, yeah, weird. Mm hmm. Weird. So weird. Mm, he can see me. Does it work if he sees me, by the way? What the hell? Ah. Huh? No, he gets distracted? Okay, he does huh? distract it. Huh? Sometimes when you throw coins and he, they see you. They kind of like, why are you throwing coins? <laughs> anyway, that's how you like get him over here. At least that's the way I did it anyway. I don't know if there's any other way to do that, but that's a fun way to just make him go all the way over here. And now you can just take his disguise. If you try to like uh, choke him out near the boat, obviously he'll just, you'll get seen and everyone will just kill you. So can't do that. But now you have this disguise and it seems like, you know, nobody suspects you. If you wear this disguise, it's a unique disguise. Nobody knows who you are, so people just assume you're supposed to be here. There you go. So you can go that way again. You can also go this way. I mean, I don't know if there's any reason to do so, but I guess I'll just show it. <laughs> you know, just to, just to, you know, just to showcase the many ways you can enter an area. You can go this way if if you have like a lockpick that they give you. You always poison. Uh, the guy while dressed as a cook. Yeah, you can always do that. You know, I've noticed, well, I don't know, I, I've always poisoned his wine glass. Uh, you can poison a lot of things, by the way. I don't know how it works exactly in this game, but apparently you can also poison the pot, but I don't know how, I don't know if he eats that, you know? You have to pay attention to whether or not he actually, certain, like, NPCs actually consume the product that you poisoned. I don't know. Oh, actually, I'm not supposed to be here. Oh yeah, I'm trespassing. Whoops. Well, you can go here and everything. Ooh. This is probably not the correct way to go. Because I have this disguise. I don't have to do this. But I'll just save here. I'm going to be saving, by the way. I mean, there's also a, a master difficulty, I guess. At least in, in this engine, anyway. I don't know if it was the same in the original engine. Nope. 
Oh, <laughs> try it again. But uh, in master difficulty, you're not allowed to have more than one save, which I found really punishing. So, obviously, I'm gonna save scum. Hmm. Man, I don't have to go through this way. But I'm going to do it anyway. It's a stealth game. Why not? I don't have to do this, but let's do a little stealthing for fun. Wow, good stealth. I just walk up over here like nothing happened. Yep. So that's another way to go. I mean, you could also do that without the disguise, obviously. And there's also like a, you know, there's a bunch of guards as well. So what I usually do if I go down there is I just knock out a guard and take his clothes. But that's too easy. Anyway. Hmm. Where's the target? He's up uh, further up or where is he? Actually, I don't know where he is. Hello? Oh, wait, no, he's over there, right? But on the map, he says over there. I can't see him. No, he's up. Oh, ah, there he is. He's up there. Okay. Let's go up here. But yeah. Again, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'll show everything, but you can just like, you know, use a crowbar, hit that thing, and then it falls down and kills him as well. But you can also just meet up with him. Hi. Mr. Ritter, I'm Terry Nova. Mr. Norfolk, we meet at last. So good of you to fly down. Shall we? Shall we? Hey, you're being weird. Pack it in. Okay, <laughs> I'm being weird. I'm just trying to dance with the music. No one's dancing. Anyway, just follow him, and obviously, you you get the idea. I feel like I get. I don't know. I don't know why they did the whole simulation thing. I guess it's just to justify that it's a test as like, you know, 47 doing a test to be in the, what do you call, what do you call it? ICA, ICU, ICA, I don't know. You know, how he got into the assassination business in the first place. Um, no, I killed him with the five of our last time. Let's just shoot him this time. Oop. Dead. But yeah, just to justify that he's just doing a test to be a sa an assassin, but I don't know why they have, you know? You don't have to do that. Uh, especially since I just shot him and everything. Look at all this. It's just kind of weird. It kind of breaks my immersion as well, you know? Knowing that this is technically all fake, even though <laughs> he shot him in the back of the head. I don't know why they had to do it. In fact, you know, I I kind of wish they just said like, oh, it was, it, this is all VR, by the way, you know, it's like, this is all VR. And they just simulates it normally rather than just having this like weird, like fake boat with fake water and fake actors. I don't know. It's just weird to me. So we did it. So, you know, that's another way to assassinate the target. Uh, before I go, though, obviously, there's always two ways to play this game. <laughs> no, um, well, should I do it now? No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it now, actually. There's two ways to show how to beat this game. Or rather, you know, beat the map, whatever. I'll show, I'll, let's try to do it a third way. Even though I think, I don't know if it'll, 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 it'll work. But let's see. This is what happens, I spend too much time... And I, mean, I don't know, again, I don't know how, if I'll, again, show everything on... I'd rather even put this on YouTube, but... It's gonna be weird to edit. <laughs> um... Alright. So... One more time. Welcome back in This is another way to do this. <laughs> I say, as I probably will die, because... <laughs> I mean, about the gas. We're gonna lo we're gonna go loud this time. I mean, this is the wrong way to do it, but it is technically a way to do it. Cause the way I see it, it's kind of like uh, what is it? The Payday Two. I played that game a lot too. Payday Two also has a similar mechanic where, uh, on certain maps, you know, in that game anyway, you can play very stealthily, or you could just start blasting. Just start blasting everybody. Just kill everyone.
Well, this is not great actually. Oh, ah, ah. It is the combat is actually pretty tough. I mean, obviously it's meant to be played as a stealth game, so obviously you're not meant to do any of this, but you can. In, in its own way, it's kind of a challenge in itself, right? Start blasting everybody. Obviously, I don't want to do this, you know, right away. But, you know, once I've done a map and everything, might as well, right? Just play as, like, a action game. <laughs> Even though it's... I always do this, but I always find that fun, actually. Whenever you play a game that's not meant to be played this way... Like, it's supposed to be a stealth game, but you, you can just play as an action game. It's just Call of Duty now. Amazing. Ah, shit. Damn it. Ah, that's too bad. Okay. Boop! Boop! Come on, get a headshot. Okay, gotta get rid of the combatants first. Any other? Oh, everyone else is just standing around. Everyone's just, oh my god, it's a freaking psycho. Look, this is, again, this is the wrong way to play. But... I'm gonna do it. This is what you want to do, especially in Hitman. I feel like everyone wants to, wants to do it. After you meticulously go through a level in such a careful way the entire time, you just want to just take out your stress and just murder everyone, you know? That's what you want to do. I'm over here. Shotgun. Oh. Back here. He's so fast. Oh my god. Turn off the... F Turn it all off. Sabotage everything. 47 could take a lot of bullets, yeah. <laughs> well, I remember actually Hitman Blood Money. Uh, when you die, Hitman Blood Money, everything goes slow motion actually, and then you can do like a final, like, swan. What's it called? Like, swan dive? No, maybe not swan dive, but. Swan song, rather. Yeah, swan song. Where, like, everything goes slow motion, and even though technically you've already died, you can just. You can still just start shooting, you know, as a way of, like, saying, ah, damn it. You know, just start killing everybody. Anyway. Hello? No! Any other guards? Hmm? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! In fact, punch you in the face! Hey, did he die? I didn't mean to kill them, oops. Well... <laughs> Normally that doesn't kill anyone. When you punch someone, it just makes them unconscious. Well, there goes, you know... An innocent dead. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to kill innocents, I'm a professional. Professionals have standards. I only killed armed combatants, you see. At least I tried to anyway. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm a professional assassin. <laughs> By the way, it's kind of weird. I don't know, I was gonna say, like, actually, it's kind of weird that, uh, oh, that's weird. Why am I? Huh. Hey, thumbs up! Thumbs up, guy. I can't. Oh, okay. That was weird. I couldn't aim my gun. <laughs> Anyway, um, it's kind of weird that uh, when you use this rifle for some reason, you can always only shoot twice. You know, you notice. Like I tap it once, and you always shoot twice for some reason. I don't know. It's like it's, it's stuck on burst fire. I think I looked it up, and you know, it's not really a glitch. It's just how it is. It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, you can also leave in many different ways as well. You can leave over the back of the car. You can also leave at the backside over there. I believe you can also go to helicopter as well. Yeah. Oh, please help me. Stop. Punch. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I like going cycle and just start blasting everybody. It's great. That's the thing you do. Anyway, pull the fire alarm. I even pull the fire alarm. Ah, I'm so mischievous. Anyway. But that'll, that'll be that. For, you know, that'll be that. The, Once again, that'll be the end of that. 
Great work initiative. Nobody saw you. You have only to let us know. Anyway, so that's going loud. Obviously, you can stay behind and just also murder the civilians, but that's I feel like that's more of a chore than it is anything else. Anyway, uh, there you go. So many different ways to finish a mission. Now that's the spirit of Hitman. You can do it as a silent assassin, or you could just be a complete psycho and just murder everyone. I just want to show that off. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. Oh yes, a full silent assassin playthrough, of course. Place is real enough, deserted, but we found no trace that your man was ever there, or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. What's that song called? Uh, every breath you take every Final step you take i'll be watching you or something mission. like that i don't know i guess that, I, that was the wrong melody anyway as an active agent the target was jasper knight a famous u.s chess master exposed as a soviet spy sodas caught up with knight at a military airfield in cuba and eliminated him against all odds this will be your objective as well now listen carefully ica exams aren't normally this difficult not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Alright, so this is the second part of the prologue. Let me just save here as well, just, to, just in case. You know, this game, by the way, is pretty smooth, you know, for the most part. You know, it runs pretty well, um, though I did have one crash actually off screen, so hopefully that doesn't happen. But that's why I'm making saves as well. Not just save scubbing, but just in case the game crashes. Anyway, so this is another mission. So this one's bigger than what we saw before. Much bigger. Uh, so it's more interesting. Again, weird that, you know, it's all fake, however, so I don't know. It kind of breaks my immersion. The I play video games to be immersed in the actual world and yet we're pretending you know it's weird that we're playing a game within the game i guess you know anyway so we're supposed to assassinate jasper knight um another, another thing i didn't mention by the way i also made the hint system much more subdued i think that's an option at least in hitman 2 so normally you know the game is can get actually pretty easy if you just simply follow the mission stories which are like opportunities that the game gives you um, I don't know. I think, yeah, it should be like... I don't know if we need to do this mission story necessarily. I want to explore another mission story, actually, because I've done this already before. But, you know, I guess we can do it again. I thought over here, by the way. Kind of hard to get in normally. So that's a mission story. Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet There are multiple mission stories, however. First, he needs to test the I've already done this one, so. Huh. Say you could yeah. I want to do something else, actually. Yeah. I've already done it myself. So let's see. There's also this one, final terms. I don't know what these are, though. We have to like figure it out on our own. Again, the, the game can get pretty easy if you have full guidance on. You can, you know, it kind of holds your hand, and you can just follow the instructions and basically. And it's, it ends up being a linear stealth game, you know? But I don't like that because, uh, you know, it kind of defeats the spear of the game. Anyway, you can hide these bushes, but I think this is a Hitman 2 thing. You, you couldn't do this in Hitman 1, but apparently you could do it in the Hitman 2 engine. Of course, I'm still playing, you know, the Hitman 1 missions, but anyway. Alright, so go over here. So, you know, he seems like a juicy target, but mm, I think I can see him, though. Hold on. And distract him somehow. Uh, I have a lot of coins, by the way. Oh, okay. He's already moved on. Because I want to, like, subdue this guy. Take his clothes, basically. I just want to strip his clothes. You know? 
Asian 47, by the way, not only is he a master marksman, a master assassin, a ma very, in you know, very smart, very strong, he's also a master at taking people's clothes, you know, it's really fast. You wouldn't think that, you know, taking someone's clothes would just instantly just pop it on your body, but, you know, he's just really quick, I guess, he's just that good. Anyway, uh, well, we don't have to sneak around anymore, I, I, we're, mo we're mostly fine with well, that guy might recognize us. Got the hammer. Just a normal guard with a hammer, don't worry about it. Let's see. So that's the target over there. Is the mission story involving the jet safety protocol? Which I guess I'll just spoil, you know? Um, but like, you can pretend to be an engineer, you know, and then bring him close to the jet, and then you basically sabotage your jet and that kills him, basically. Um, that's cool, but I want to do something else if possible. Probably have to like look around though. Eavesdrop drop people on people maybe. That was the plan. Then night pulls a fast one. I see. Girlfriend go with him across the curtain. Girlfriend across the curtain. It's during the Cold War, I guess. Wasn't part of the agreement. Night says of course. Documents on the other Soviet spies in the U.S. Documents that'll leak into the wrong hands in case anything happens to him mm. or his girlfriend. He's threatening the Soviet Union, eh? I can't have that. So Knight's final demand. Knight's made an unexpected demand for his girlfriend to come him to the Soviet Union. He refuses to leave. Okay. This is just intel, actually. This is not a mission story. This is just information. The call will come through in the, in the restricted radio room. Alright. So you actually have to figure it out. It's kind of like a puzzle game, which, you know, normally I don't like puzzle games. <laughs> But it's much more, you know, involved, I guess. Less less of like an abstraction. It's more like actually just figuring things out, and, you know, as if it's like real life. But obviously not really. Anyway. What's this? Oh, I see a fire alarm. Obviously you can pull the fire alarm, I guess. I don't know if that does anything. It'll probably you know just alert everybody. From Moscow? Oh. He's the real McCoy. That KGB officer? Netsky? Yeah. That's what years of special KGB training in Siberia will do to you. Mm -hmm. They say he hunts tigers with a bow and arrow. Wow. Come on. Seriously. They even say he works directly for Janus. Takes orders from nobody else. Really? Uh, really? The guy's a real killing machine. We're lucky he's on our team. I'll drink to that, comrade. Also kind of weird with the voice acting, by the way. I mean, he's not only in this part. You know, you could say that in this part, everyone's just pretending. They're just actors. But also in other maps, where technically you're in other places, everyone just has the same accent. <laughs> because I think because they had a limited budget voice actors. <laughs> That's the real reason, but anyway. Yeah, that, and again, this is what happens when I play this game. I just go around just staring at people. Um, I'll just say, it might be dangerous because there's a enforcer there. Let's see, there's a person over there. I want, you know, I want to play as, as silent as I can, at least the first time. So that's why I'm, you know, saving and everything. You can get caught, and then they're like, oh, who are you, you know? And then you can, like, run away and everything, but, you know, I'd rather do it properly the first time. We can go loud the second time I go through this map. Sorry, buddy. Security was just notched up. You know, okay, I can't kill this way. Walk around over here, the airfield. We never explored over here yet. I don't know if anyone said anything interesting over here. Okay. Sometimes a lot of conversations don't lead anywhere, but well, that's the fun, isn't it? Hello? Good day. I'm just uh, a guard, I guess. Not really like a soldier. No, no. no? Uh, probably sleeping in a closet somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You can go this way. I mean, I don't know if there's any reason to. I can vault. Playing chess at a time like this? He's 90 miles from U.S. soil. CIA is hot at his heels, and his hands don't even shake. <laughs> Some kind of psychopath. Nah, I think it calms him down. This is Jasper Nike. It's not like normal people. Just to him is like oxygen or alcohol. Eh, 
Does look concentrated. Yeah, as orange juice. Trying to solve some chess conundrum. Apparently, the late Russian ambassador made some highly unusual, very aggressive opening move that uh, really rattled Knight. He's a grandmaster. To him, it's more than a game. Mm -hmm. So Knight kills a guy, poisons him with ricin-coated chess pieces. And his biggest concern is that an amateur almost beat him in chess? <laughs> Told you he was a psychopath. The ambassador was a traitor. He was gonna defect to the Americans. Come on. These guys change sides like the rest of us change underwear. What, like once every couple of years? You know what I mean. Yeah, it's all a game. Until you decide it's not. I recognize that voice, by the way. What's his, what's his, I can't remember his, it's freaking, what's his face? Yosuke from Persona 4. I always remember that voice as that. He's a famous voice actor. I recognize that voice. Maybe not, maybe not Yosuke. Is it Yosuke? Or is it someone else? I don't know. Maybe, anyway. Maybe Gara. I always mix up two voice. There's always like there's always two voice actors. I always mix up because they're they're known for making. I mean, not known, but like you know, they're well known at least in uh, anime English dubs. Anyway, hmm. We have more intel. Apparently, she, he has a chess conundrum. Opening move. In the late Russian ambassador. Beginner's luck. He's a grandmaster. He's a big nerd. I guess. Hmm. Can't go that way because there's an enforcer. So I'll just go back this over here. Yeah, everyone just speaks perfect English. <laughs> you know? Don't worry about it. They just, you know? If nothing else, the way I interpret it, my like headcanon, at least, you know, in, in other areas where obviously not everyone's supposed to speak perfect English, I just pretend that maybe like. Everything is translated through Hitman's uh, head, you know, AJ-47, because he's, you know... Oh, can I stop here? Nope. Damn it. Reload. Uh... Yeah, I mean... Oh, well, I don't know if it matters. Does it kill Silent Assassin? Hey, you! You're off limits. I need you to follow me. Are we clear? I mean, as far as I know, sometimes when you trespass, uh, they basically just lead you out. You're free to go. And then you're good. No one gets alerted or anything. But sometimes it does break Silent Assassin. I'm a whatever. At the end of the day, I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. I would like Silent Assassin. But, uh... Oh well. It's just that sometimes it glitches out, you know? I've noticed. Anyway. I was gonna say, like... Because HA47, you know, he's like super smart. He's just the, the perfect human specimen. Spoilers. Tons of rum and vodka, and military. He just translate everything in his head to English, you know. Batman is KGB, and pretty high up the chain at that. Those guys don't take too kindly to failure. I hear you. Okay, what's this? The officer in charge has ordered airfield security to get him a bottle of vodka. He will probably offer Knight a drink as well. That is, provided he is able to drag the Grand Master away from his chess game. Okay, interesting. Sure. Well, I have to get a soldier disguise first, however. Hmm. Where can I get a soldier disguise? Uh, this is airplane mechanic. Mm. I can change disguises. I don't know if it helps, but... Okay. I gotta find a soldier. In particularly, a... Soldier on his own. And take his clothes. Or find it around, well, you know, find it on the ground as well. That's also a possibility. Am I trespassing here? No. Hmm. Is it safe to take that guy? Well, I can't do it now. Because I'm being looked at. Don't worry about me. I'm just going to wait here, I guess. Oh, he's looking the other way. Let me just say. <laughs> okay, I wish that the game would tell you if Silent Assassins was broken. Because again, I... Accidentally went to the wrong area, and then someone said, Oh, you're not supposed to be here. That might have broken Silent Assassin, I'm not sure. Oh well. Is there like a box to put here in, somewhere in? Oh, there is. Do -do 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 -do. Put you in the box. And then disguise myself as a Soviet soldier. 
you know, so, uh, you know side assassin ruined, might as well just start shooting. Well, I'll probably do that later. For now, I am a Soviet soldier, don't worry about it. Yeah. What is that weapon? Is it a Kalashnikov? You know, AK-47. Anyway, I gotta get a bottle of vodka. We no. Uh, hide in the grass. All right. I, I didn't notice that he would notice who I am. Let me go back this way. And good thing the box is always empty. You know, it's just specifically for body disposal. You see. Okay. I gotta get a bottle of vodka. However. Hmm. Let's see, where would I get a bottle of vodka? Well, I haven't explored up here yet. Wait. Wanna put that away, cowboy? Okay, fine. Ah, I just like holding it, you know? What's this? Another mission story? Alright. Jasper Knight is demanding that his girlfriend accompanies him to the Soviet Union, and he refuses to leave until he gets out of Okay, so that we heard about that before, but basically, yeah. Apparently, at least within the story of the game, uh, you know, within, I don't know how you say it, but like, you know, within the simulation, I guess, Jasper Knight has, uh, information on the Soviet Union as well. He's kind of like a double, triple spy or whatever, you know, sort of. He's blackmailing the Soviet Union to get him to safety, I guess. Here's a pool ball. You can throw it at people. I mean, I don't know if I should. Hmm. Kind of a little dangerous here because some people will notice who I am. What's this? Projector slides. Okay. Let's see. I'm looking for vodka or anything else, really. I don't care. Brick. Well, you can also use it. I mean, obviously, you can throw it at people, but you can also use them as distractions. So it's useful for that as well. I remember in uh, Blood Money where you can, like, throw weapons, actually, to distract people as well, but uh, I don't think you can do it in this game. At least I don't know how to, anyway. Because when I usually- the way you throw things, you aim it like a gun. And obviously if you're- if you have a gun, you know, you're just aiming it. Hmm. Well, here's the uh, target right here. I mean, you know, I can just kill him directly, uh, but obviously there's someone here as well, just standing there. So it's not exactly the best way to get rid of him. Hmm. Vodka? Okay, so you can poison the vodka. Interesting. I have to find the vodka in the first place, however. I can talk to him. Hmm. Try that. Hi. Don't bother me. I have more than enough on my plate. Okay. Well, he has nothing to say. Hmm. I can mess with his chess game. Real quick. Uh, move queen to g3 or move rook to f8. I don't know what this means. Maybe if you're good at chess, you can tell. I mean, I know a little bit of chess. I know how the, you know, the pieces move. But that's all I know, really. That's all I got. Um, Sure. We'll do that one. Checkmate. Aha. Get checkmated, dummy. And where'd he go? Oh, he left, I guess. I went over there. So, okay, so the vodka thing is, like, if you have vodka, you can poison it. And probably, yeah, here's some rat poison. So you put rat poison in his vodka, and then he goes over here, probably. And he's like, ow, stomach hurt. And then you kill him in the washroom, whatever. Hmm. Now, does he interact with that chessboard? But I don't know how, I mean, maybe not, but... Maybe not, whatever. Yeah, he always just, just like, one guy with him. So you gotta get either, you know, get rid of that guy, or make Jasper go somewhere else. So let's keep exploring, I guess. As well. Definitely, again, you can just speedrun this. If you know what you're doing, actually, you can just go really quickly and just kill him. But, uh, you know... This game, again... Has a lot of like, how do you, how do you say? It's like it has a lot of vertical content, if that makes sense. Like it only really, overall, you know, compared to like a normal game, it only has a few maps, really. So like, if you just go as fast as you can, and then just beat the game really quickly, there's just not a lot of content if you do that. <laughs> but uh, if you take your time and actually explore the map and everything, you know, I think it really depends, I guess, what type of person you are. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to do, it's just... 
it's just in contained within like one tight map, you know? Tightly packed, I guess. Like a bento lunchbox. Anyway, you know the roof. Hmm. I don't know what those things are. What are those things? It's just lights? Uh, I can tamper those lights somehow? Uh, probably shoot them, but. Anyway. You can knock him out, but. You know, you could probably knock a lot of people out. You know, you can knock, knock everyone out and just put them in boxes. Though I guess you'll eventually run out of boxes. Let's see. Crowbar? Sure. You know, this is what happens, by the way. You just end up putting a bunch of tools in your pockets. Somehow, it, you know, fit. You scale up over here, by the way. What's over here? I guess this could be like a sniper spot, actually. Assuming I have a sniper, but... Oh, actually, oh, yeah, okay, interesting. So you can kill him, like, over here as well. So that's a thing you do as well. Okay. Hmm. You break the spotlight, probably it drops on him, you know, and it's an accidental kill. Accidental kill? Is it accidental kill or just accident? That's a common thing in Blood Money as well. Often, in order to get Silent Assassin, you need to make sure no one suspects that, you know, the target got killed in the first place. It was just an accident, right? <laughs> That's often how you would get like a good rating in that game. Probably in this game as well. Hmm. I'm just looking around. Carry on. Yeah, AJ47 just, you know. He ha he just has a bag of holding. You know, it's infinite space. Let's see. Did I explore over here yet? I think I did. Hmm. I'm just looking all around. I don't know where this vodka is. I mean, again, I can probably just turn on the mission story thing and it'll be say, Hey, by the way, it's over here. So, but I feel like that's too easy, though, you know? That's way too easy. It just tells you where it is. I mean, I already have, like, you know, wall hacks. So that helps. It doesn't... It, it wall hacks uh, people. It doesn't wall hack items, though. Unless, you know, it's in line of sight, obviously. Hmm, what's over there? Can I not get that? I remember being there. Maybe I missed that, I don't know. Anyway. Hmm. I feel like I've been all over, but... Mm -hmm. Anything? Vodka? Vodka? Vodka. Any of from vodka? Yeah, I could probably push him off right there, somehow. I'll just kill you right now or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, disguise yourself as a... You know, the other mission story is to disguise yourself as a KGB officer. I mean, am I an officer? Is there like a, a difference? Maybe there's like a special... Yeah, where's the officer actually, I wonder. There's probably like a special uniform available. Is it you? Maybe? No. Actually, I can go over here, yeah, because I have a different disguise now. I can explore a little bit over here. People would just assume. Oh, right. Oh, yes, yeah, right here. Okay. People would just assume I'm a soldier, right? So, there you go. That's the vodka. That's an action down. And, you know, we could, we could probably kill the target really easily now. Let's explore a little bit more, though. Just in case there's anything interesting around here. This KGB yeah, officer. Oh. So shoot me. I might just do that. Those are military secrets. A uh, bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Hi, I'm a soldier. All right, I hear you. Okay, the another one. Depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union are ready for pickup at the reception. Desk security expect a soldier to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs off. Okay, once you get the slides, they'll go somewhere else to look at the escape uh, route, I guess. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Thanks. Right there on the counter. Yeah, it's mine now. All right, so that's how you do that. They mentioned the KGB officer. I don't know who that is, but I don't know. I have the slides though. I can put it on the projector. I have vodka. I have the slides. You know, maybe I'll just keep the vodka actually. Hello, it's Brian. just you know, just for me. Is that the... Oh, that's the KGB officer right there, right? I can put it on the slides, and I'll, you know, probably let them sit there. That's the officer, right? Hmm. 
I wonder, is there an easy way to kill him? I, w I can push him right now, but obviously everyone sees me. Hello. Sir, the slides you requested. Thank you, soldier. Put them in the office on the overhead projector. Right, right away, sir. Right away, sir. Hmm. If I put it here, they'll end up over here, most likely. There's a lot of witnesses, though, so... Hmm. Well, I'll just save it here. I mean, there's probably a way to take advantage of this, but... Sure, I'll just put it here. There's a lot of things you can do. This should keep Knight's attention for a while. There's, there's a lot of things you can do. Ah, the slides arrived. About time. Maybe this will shut him up. Sir, the vodka you requested. Excellent. Put it in the meeting room. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe that maybe this is part of the plan, actually. You know, because now. Oh. God damn it. No, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Try that again. I didn't notice that he would notice me. I didn't notice that he would notice me. I wanted to go back up and actually put the vodka, actually. And see maybe when he comes back, he can, you know, drink vodka or something. I don't know, anyway. Good thinking initiate. I'll put that there again. Keep Knight's attention for a while. Where is Knight? Knight's over there. So he'll be like, probably he'll go where the slides are, right? Like, hello, sir. Go do the whole thing. I can poison his glass, obviously, but. Is that oh, the projector's up and running. Yeah, okay. Wonder what those geniuses have in store for me now. You can see that? Where, where can you see that? Maybe over there? It's hard to see. Anyway. So here's the KGB officer. Escape slides are here. You good? Good? Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me just, uh. Well, you're over there. Let me just, uh. Put this vodka pot over here. And let me poison these glasses. Uh, I don't know which one he'll drink, though. But I do have. No, that's not what I want. I do have. How much poison do I have? I do have three. So I might as well just poison both. Why not? Mm hmm. Did it? Did it? Ah, yes. Nice rat poison for you. There you go. So they're all distracted with the projector. I don't know if we can take it. I mean, again, I you could probably just kill them there, but I'm not sure if that does anything. Maybe, like, if they go this way, you could probably, like, go up there, maybe, and kill them with the accident kill, you know? Like, maybe he walks around over here. Somehow you can, like, yeah, maybe... Because I was over there before, you could probably just hit that, and then they'll drop on him or something. I don't know. Is it because he goes this way? But I'm just gonna kill him with the rat poison if possible. Anyway, he will see things my way. Now, give me a moment. I need to learn this plan by heart. Someone sees me. Yeah, too many witnesses here. A jet, an aircraft carrier, a submarine, a frigate, and a helicopter. Right. All we need now is a zeppelin and a pogo stick. Don't bother me. I have more than enough on my plate. Okay. Well, it, it brings them here, which again, maybe you can take advantage of that, but you know, I'm just gonna do the, the vodka thing. It, I mean, it might be all part of the plan, actually, you know, because I've noticed that uh, there was an exclamation mark, by the way, if you try to put poison in the glass. So if you do it like when people are right in front of you, you know, people will say, oh, well, what are you doing? You know, you're poisoning the glass. Get him. Anyway. This game will be legendary. This game will be legendary. We'll call it Night's Camp. Hi. Here's some vodka, sir. You like to drink some vodka? Ah, the fabled vodka. Well yes. You. Yes. Hopefully that will shut him up. Drink it. Yes. Drink it. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Oh, my stomach. Oh, there's something bad in my stomach. Something wants out. Oh, shit. Whoa. I wonder if you can also poison the... Because I poisoned two glasses, right? So I wonder if you can poison the KGB officer as well. Because he did say, like, Oh, put the vodka in the meeting room or whatever. Oh. 
Anyway, there you go. Some delicious vodka. Are you enjoying the vodka, sir? Hmm. Maybe not. Let me just say. <laughs> Somehow, I mess this up. But, uh... That's disgusting. Look at that sludge. It's just, it's just black. Anyway. There you go. I mean, that should be... You know, pretty good. I don't know if I messed up again, Silent Assassin, early on, but you know... It'll, if it if it isn't Silent Assassin, it'll be Silent Assassin in our hearts. You know? Howdy, Trooper. Howdy, Trooper. Let me just save again. Nice and easy. Anyway, I just wanted to do that. Because he was just in the way the whole time, so... Just to... Get, like, revenge. <laughs> Momentarily, before I reload. Anyway. Time to escape, I guess. That's it. We just need to walk out. Hmm. Can I just drop down? I guess not. <laughs> that would be too far of a drop. At ease, recruit. At ease. Did you like some vodka? There's some vodka, by the way. No? Okay. Uh, go downstairs. Is there multiple escape points? It seems like in this in this map, there's only one escape point. It seems. And I'm just gonna walk past. No one else sees me. All right. Okay. End the mission. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. There you go. Now this map I didn't really, you know, the first map I definitely did all kinds of things. This one is a lot bigger, so I didn't really do everything. Uh, damn it, not Silent Assassin. Whatever. I mean, that's fine. Technically, I got Silent Assassin off screen, but anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I guess. It's, it's the one part where, you know, the one part where the guy saw me trespassing is kind of like, what are you doing? You know? Even though normally, the way it's supposed to work is that it doesn't break your Silent Assassin, but I guess sometimes, again, it kind of glitches out. It's kind of weird, you know, because they assume technically you got found out, but not really. Ah, uh, anyway. That's fine. And the way he died is quite disgusting. <laughs> anyway, uh, where's next? So, mission stories, yeah. Right here. Uh, can I... Replan the mission? Okay, so you can play it again, basically. Sure, let's play it again! This time, let's go... The final test a little loud. I'm gonna basically. I don't know. I, well, I don't know if I can do this necessarily. This might. This might be hard, but because everyone has like assault rifles. But what I want to try to do on every map is, you know, do it normally the first time, but then go a little bit louder the second time. You know, it's gonna be hard though. Let's see, because I don't want to just start blasting here. It's just. It's not very. Well, I can. A damn fence. Anyway. So a little bit loud, you know, the second time. And just play as a traditional stealth game, you know? I prob I I'll, I'll probably... What I'll do as well is uh, skip uh, getting disguises. I'm just gonna shoot. Here's a coin though. Wee! Shoot him! Everyone's distracted over there, I guess. Well, I say traditional stealth game. Well, not not stealth game, rather traditional action game. <laughs> you know, this is just me playing an action game now. Woo! Yeah. Let me just pick that up real quick. This is pretty loud, though, so actually you don't want to use it right now. I feel like.
Yeehaw! Missed the first shot. It's not great. I don't want to use, uh, keep using signs. Thank you. Where is Jasper? Where the heck is Jasper? Where is he? There he is. Oh, missed the headshot. Must be high on drugs. Must be high on drugs. Uh, there you go. You did it. Now head towards an exit. Wee! So that's a way also a thing you do. Uh, I'm not gonna try to kill everyone this time though, because you know it's kinda hard to do that. Everyone has assault rifles. That's also another way you can beat the game. Just go in, just shoot everyone. You know, in a way, that's how assassins in real life do it. They don't do this whole stealth thing. Then again, I don't know, maybe they're so good that nobody knows that happens. When you're like an actual silent assassin, maybe nobody knows there is an assassin. Anyway. Oh yeah, here's another thing. I mean, this is a thing from uh, Hitman Blood Money, actually. You've noticed, actually, when you kill people, they put everyone in body bags and then, you know, move them in a certain location. It's actually quite interesting. Uh, let's see. Can I, like... I don't know, kill them in an interesting way. Um, you know, just some fiber wire. This day, man. Good night. Whee! I love murder. <laughs> this is the way you can do it. Yeah! And just for fun, kill you too. How many people we can take out, I wonder, before we just leave? Anyone else? Anyone else around here? A lot of soldiers in this base, so... Ah, he sees me. Anyone else? Anyone else? I'm just murdering everyone now. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I can't see him. Uh. Freaking friends. Sometimes block my bullets, I feel like. Bam? Come on. Eh. Eh. Headshot. Anyone else? Huh? I'm taking down the entire Soviet Union. <laughs> you, just, you just imagine just this is how you normally play Hitman. You just don't you just completely ignore the, the entire all aspects of the actual game and just blast everyone. Anyone else? There's more. There's a lot of people. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know, there is a stealth kill involving the the gun and everything. Can I do it now? No, okay. Whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Silent takedown, eh? Holy shit. Ah! 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 <laughs> you know, uh, well, when you try to uh, knock out uh, guards, obviously, there's like a whole QTE thing where you like punch them out and everything. But if you just do it on civilians, you just punch them out in one hit. You know, one punch man, basically. I find that hilarious. Anyone else? I guess I'm good. I'm just hunting everyone down at this point, like a psycho. 
I guess that's it. I just I just clear out the entire base. Oh well. Yeehaw! Anyone else? Nope. I guess that's it. America was here. <laughs> anyway. All simulation, by the way. No one's dead, by the way. It's all just... It's all simulation. It's all fake. Everyone's just pretending they got shot in the head. Actually. Anyway. But there you go. That's the prologue, I believe. There's just two missions that you're allowed to do. And do it any way you want. Amazing. Suit only, you see, yeah? <laughs> you know, even if uh, you do it loud, as long as you do a few missions like that, you actually do get experience. Which, by the way, I don't know if I, me I mentioned, but there is, like, a, a obviously, like, a, a experience system. I don't know what it really unlocks, uh, you know, specifically, but I imagine later on you can use uh, more... You know, different types of gadgets and weapons, depending on your level and other maps. Not on this map, though. You just, did. The you just killed all the actors. I hope you know what you did. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we'll contact you. And so does... He played his hand, and he lost. Yeah, he yeah. Just now. <laughs> Got all his guards killed. Him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. The cutscenes, by the way, are kind of crusty for some reason. I don't know why. There you go. And this is just a little montage with his like signature sniper, by the way. I believe, I don't know, these are, yeah, I think these are montages of previous games. I'm not really entirely sure. I don't really remember the early ones, to be honest. It's all blur. But I think this is like Hitman 1, Hitman 2, you know, Hitman Contracts. Poison sushi. That was that was delicious looking sushi, by the way. This guy gets drowned. Interesting effect there, by the way. And I remember this. I clearly remember this. This is definitely the first mission in Blood Money. Or was it? I think it was. Or maybe I'm misremembering. But I, be I think it was the first mission in Blood Money. I definitely, re I definitely, I'm you know the the hitman I have the most intimate knowledge with is definitely Blood Money. Oh, I say intimate knowledge. It's been a while though. So I don't really remember everything. But I played that the most. And I believe this is this might be Absolution. I don't know. I I bet me wrong. I think this was a scene in Absolution, but I don't know. Men have fallen by your hand. Yeah. Just a little montage of all these little things. So the idea is that after his prologue, you know, you introduce Hitman and everything, and he, go, he goes around, kills a bunch of people. Does the ICA? Which for the most part, you know, he, he kills criminals. So in a way, he's kind of like an anti-hero. Though, in uh, earlier games, that's not always the case, actually. He doesn't always kill, you know, criminals. Sometimes he just kills innocents anyways, but, the but that's the point, I guess. I felt the cost. That's what defines me. Alright. Well there you go. So the next next thing would be the actual first mission of this game. You know, that's not the tutorial where you can actually do more things than just simply just follow instructions basically. Uh, yeah, let's, I don't know, I guess let's just do it. Let's see. 